Did you know that one in nine people in the world today is undernourished? That's 795 million people. Asia is the continent with the most hungry people, two thirds of the total. That equates to 67%. One in four children suffer from stunted growth. In some developing countries, it is as high as one in three. Agriculture is the world's largest employer, providing livelihoods for 40% of the global population. If women farmers had the same access to resources as men, the number of hungry people in the world could be reduced by 150 million. Since the 1900s, some 75% of crop diversity has been lost from farmers' fields. Global hunger is on the rise again, affecting over 815 million people, 11% of the world's population. At the same time, multiple forms of malnutrition are threatening the health of millions worldwide. Food security is a growing global risk. The world will need to produce at least 50% more food to feed 9 billion people by 2050. At the same time, the global food and agriculture system is both contributing to and threatened by climate change and the degradation of natural resources. It is time to rethink how we grow and share and consume our food. If done right, agriculture, forestry and fisheries can provide nutritious food for all and generate decent incomes while supporting people-centred rural development and protecting the environment. Right now, our soils, fresh water, oceans, forests and biodiversity are being rapidly degraded. Climate change is putting even more pressure on the resources we depend on, increasing risks associated with disasters such as droughts and floods. Many rural women and men can no longer make ends meet on their land, forcing them to migrate to cities in search of opportunities. Poor food security is also causing millions of children to be stunted or too short for the ages due to severe malnutrition. A profound change of the global food and agriculture system is needed if we are to nourish the 815 million people who are hungry today and the additional 2 billion people expected to be undernourished by 2050. Investments in agriculture are crucial to increasing the capacity for agricultural productivity and sustainable food production. Systems are necessary to help alleviate the perils of hunger. The targets related to this SDG seek to address some key areas such as by 2020, maintain the genetic diversity of seeds, cultivated plants and farmed and domesticated animals and their related wild species, including thorough, soundly managed and diversified seed and plant banks at the national, regional and international levels, and promote access to fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from the utilisation of genetic resources and associated traditional knowledge as internationally agreed. By 2030, double the agricultural productivity and incomes of small-scale food producers, in particular women, indigenous peoples, family farmers, pastoralists and fishers, including through secure and equal access to land, other productive resources and inputs, knowledge, financial services, markets and opportunities for value addition and non-farm employment. Ensure sustainable food production systems and implement resilient agricultural practices that increase productivity and production, that help maintain ecosystems, that strengthen capacity for adaptation to climate change, extreme weather, drought, flooding and other disasters, and that progressively improve land and soil quality. Increase investment, including through enhanced international cooperation in rural infrastructure, agricultural research and extension services, technology development and plant and livestock gene banks in order to enhance agricultural productive capacity in developing countries, in particular least developed countries. Correct and prevent trade restrictions and distortions. Correct and prevent trade restrictions and distortions in world agricultural markets, including through the parallel elimination of all forms of agricultural export subsidies and all export measures with equivalent effect in accordance with the mandate of the Doha Development Round. In some cases, business can negatively impact on food security and sustainable agriculture in a range of ways, e.g. by distributing unsafe food products, causing damage to arable land, not respecting resource and land rights through financing and investment decisions. Business is also a critical partner in helping achieve food security and sustainable agriculture through designing and delivering effective, scalable and practical solutions. 
every actor along the agricultural supply chain, including farmers, producers, traders, retailers, investors and consumers, has a critical role to play to establish sustainable food systems that advance food security, protect the environment and ensure economic opportunity. At a minimum, business is expected to act responsibly by mitigating any negative impacts. Business is also encouraged to find opportunities with positive impact. Tim Clune will further speak about what we are currently doing to address some of these issues. It is clear from the introduction that there is more to ending hunger than simply providing food to those who lack sufficiency. It is also clear that climate change and the projected global population growth between today and the end of this century, which is adding another 3.6 billion people, will make the current situation more challenging. This is particularly so in developing nations that have low levels of food security and that have been identified as especially vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Therefore, the developed world has a significant role in underpinning future global food security, both in terms of reducing wastage and improving productivity. Necessarily, this requires that developed countries such as Australia need to increase their food production and handling capacity in a sustainable manner to ensure that they can play their role. As identified earlier, business is a critical partner with government in ensuring food security and delivering sustainable agricultural production, both of which are closely linked. The concept of food security implies that food resources are available in sufficient quantity and quality, accessible when and as required, and able to be utilised as a consequence of access to clean water and sanitation and healthcare. Food security is complicated by factors such as armed conflict, low economic growth and climate related factors. Increasingly, climate change, particularly the impact of climatic extremes such as droughts, floods and storms, is identified as determinant of relative food security for future populations. Sustainable food production systems include all the infrastructure and processes that support food security. Food production systems are exposed to significant risk from climate change, particularly agriculture, but also freshwater and marine fisheries. Rain-fed agriculture is particularly vulnerable as it comprises 80% of cultivated land and contributes 60% of total globe, global food production. Building capacity to enable resilient and sustainable agribusiness systems is essential in the delivery of these two closely related outcomes. Of course, technology and the Internet of Things will play a critical role through targeted genetic improvements to enable maintenance of diversity, sensors to enhance the management of limited resources, efficiencies through automation and artificial intelligence, and open and transparent markets supported through e-commerce. However, while technology and the Internet of Things will be critical enablers, ensuring the human capital required to adopt these innovations is essential for the delivery of SDG2. Importantly, this means ensuring agribusiness operators either have or are able to access an appropriate suite of skills to effectively adopt technological advances to better manage environmental, financial and social risks. We are interested in both individual agribusinesses as well as sustainable food production systems. In terms of individual agribusinesses, we are specifically interested in understanding the key capability sets that enable businesses to remain resilient and thrive. Importantly, this asks three fundamental questions. Firstly, what is it that the agribusiness operators are trying to achieve? For example, is it simply a farming lifestyle or does it include other elements such as financial security, resource stability and professional and community recognition, etc.? Secondly, what skills, knowledge and experience do they require access to? For example, financial and legal skills, production skills, land stewardship skills, industry and community networks. And thirdly, how are these factors impacted by the current and future limitations of the biophysical, economic and social environments? For example, what are the impacts of climate change, dynamic commodity prices and exchange rates, environmental degradation, or the changing nature and demographics of rural communities. We are also interested in the broader sustainability of agribusiness systems. Importantly, we are seeking to understand how related businesses across the supply chain are interacting to deliver sustainable outcomes. Key questions we are interested in resolving are how well are sustainability principles understood and implemented by various actors along the supply chain and 
to what extent do individual actors influence the behaviour of other actors in the supply chain? Understanding the relative awareness and implementation of sustainability thinking and principles across the supply chain, as well as the relative importance of individual actors providing the leadership and drive to enhance sustainable outcomes, will inform and enable the development of innovative outcomes between businesses that result in enhanced sustainability throughout the entire supply chain. These studies, focused on individual agribusinesses as well as actors within an integrated supply chain, are providing important foundational evidence to inform both business and government, enabling the development of policies and reforms that enhance the sustainability of food production systems. This in turn will assist Australian agribusinesses to make a material contribution to enhancing food security and ending hunger.